We're here with Lance Meadows, coach of the XL Pro Squad, and we're just going to do a review of the month of October. Um, we're into November already, but we just wanted to go back over October and look at some of the highlights and some of the things that happened. Um, first thing, really, Lance, just talking about the general overall program for the pros. Um, obviously, in the month, we had an increase in numbers, and, and we learned a lot of things. For sure, it's been a full-on month. Um, a couple of people are moving up there full-time. Um, so, it's, yeah, it's kind of been the first month, really, where we've had full morning sessions, full afternoon sessions, guys around here all the time. Um, so, it's, yeah, it's been very full-on. It's been fun. I think we've learned a few different things. Um, it's, it's much more than just kind of the training. There's everything, there's everything else on top. The mental side is kind of seen how important that is in the last month. Um, so yeah, it's been full on, but it's been fun. Cool. Um, I guess the first thing really is just getting the sessions in, getting the players playing, getting the volume up, and then as we work on it, getting the quality up and the intensity. Um, the sessions have generally gone really well. Um, obviously we're biased in saying that, but the athlete response has been really good. They seem to be excited by um, the adding and the fitness, and it seems to be going well. Yeah, it's been great. I think everyone that's turned up here once has, has came back again, um, and people seem to be coming more and more often, uh, which is great. We we obviously do the hitting sessions. We have games. We have we use the gym. Now, in terms of the athletes, so we had a few things happen with the athletes this month. Um, we had William Donnelly up for uh, a good part of the month after nationals, and you and I were both impressed with how he trained and how he fitted in and the effort that he put in. Yeah, for sure. We had Will's here for two weeks straight after that. We would have played about 10 matches there and we came in straight away. I think that after the same afternoon. Um, and it was a pleasure to have him here. He trained hard, did everything we asked We asked of him. And um, yeah, for sure, I'm looking forward to having him here full time in a couple weeks. Okay, so he's back on the 23rd of November. Um, hopefully, uh, full time from then and, and uh, a real good kid to work with. Yeah, I think Will's has got a lot of potential. Like you said, he was a good person. Um, not only just to have around here while we were training, a great person when he was training, he always got 100%. Um, and that's kind of what we really asked. Cool. Now, Bimba was in Australia for two tournaments, two PSAs. And look, I know we say it, and it's true, it's about experience for these guys. It's about getting the 10 of these in the, in, the, in the pocket and getting the experience. His first overseas trip for PSAs, um, what were your thoughts on, on the trip from a distance? I think, as you said, it's a lot of it's, it's just really experience for now. Um, he had winnable matches, but but very tough matches as well. Um, and I'd say he'll be a little disappointed to come away having lost both matches. Second match with Robert Darcy is good play, made the final in the first event, and had his chances two one up in that. So you always going to be disappointed um, from that aspect, but. I think just getting getting his first kind of series um, underway, his first PSA overseas tournaments under his belt, he's going to be must be happy with that. And I think the next time he goes overseas, he's going to be a bit more, um, a bit more confident, um, and I guess know what to expect and, and kind of know how it feels, I guess, to lose those matches as well. Um, so I, I'd say for now, during his training, he's, he seems a bit more hungry already. Um, and hopefully he put that hunger into his um, match. Yes, I, I guess he dropped a little bit of volume, so he's had to come back and, and train a bit harder after that to get himself back up again. Yeah, I think two, a couple of weeks away, the first week back is always tough. Um, obviously, when you've got tournaments, it's tough to be training hard around and, and, and in between those events. Um, so the first week back for him, he was pretty tough. Um, just the end of the second week for him back now, and he's, he's fit back in nicely. And, and getting the work on the belt. So. We had the Junior Nationals at the start of October. Um, we had a few athletes in there um, and some good results. We had the, the leper Quinella of runners up in two age groups, which was good for the club. Um, and Anthony played well in that final. Um, very, very strong match against Skate. Yeah, I think that's the best he's done against him in maybe six years, even. So he, he has to be positive with that, he's leading 2 1. Um, probably the best I've, I've ever seen him play up until that point, which is very positive for him. Um, he's certainly improved a lot this year. I think he was only B1 about 12 months ago, something like that. Um, and, and even the last couple of months that I've been working with him, I've, I've 
noticed a lot of very good differences in his game and, and not only on court, not only uh, kind of physically and the way he's hitting and all that, but I think the mental side of his is slowly improving with that as well, which is obviously incredibly important. So he's doing well at the moment. Well, on that mental note, um, I guess that's been an interesting component for us. We know it's important. We know a lot of uh, coaches and programs uh, don't always look into that, but it's certainly been an area that's come up pretty quickly for us about an opportunity for improvement for our athletes. Yeah, I think it's huge. Obviously, the top guys in the world, top 10 in the world, everyone is very similar in terms of their fitness, speed, in terms of their racket ability, um, their squash skills. So I think it really is the top two inches that, um, that it comes down to in the end. And I think for us, really, it's been the first thing has been getting in the players. The second thing has been making sure that they're doing the sessions. The third thing is the intensity they bring to the session. Um, but us being here for 12, 13, 14 hours every single day and we're seeing our players, just throughout, a lot of our players are doing the same and they're here all day as well. We kind of really do kind of know everything about them and see them at their highest and at their lowest. And um, I think it's pretty interesting and I think a lot of coaches, a lot of different squads, you wouldn't really get, get to see all of that. But because we're around them so often... Um, we're kind of we're picking up on a lot of different things, which is interesting, and, and to, to kind of pick up on these things so early is great for us. Um, and hopefully that's something that we're able to improve today. True, and you're also seeing them completely out of here in, in the squash house, and, yeah. and that's another sort of more relaxed, chilled layer yeah. where a little bit more comes out as well. Yeah, exactly. No, it's, it's fun living with some of the players. Um, and again, it's, it's kind of more opportunities for... So I was on tour for seven or eight years. It's, it's, it's a bit more opportunity to give a little more again in terms of my experiences and what I kind of learned for myself on tour, I guess. But um, it's a lot of fun living with the guys. I think we've got such a good bunch of players. Um, everyone gets along great. So I think the squash house is a lot of fun. And, and again, it's just something else that we're able to offer for the players. Obviously, something very important that we're able to offer in terms of accommodation. Um, but again, it's not just accommodation, it's just, it's just how much fun we all have together. And, yeah. cool. We've got, um, we've had Abby Palmer and Elliot to be training quite a lot during the month. Um, Abby had uh, a breakout playing the queue open with uh, the guys, and uh, she also had the World Women's Teams in the prior month. Um, and Ellie's been training pretty hard. What's your feeling with? having those two involved and obviously since then we've had Dewey along and probably Caitlin will be up at some point soon. Um, is it hard for you, give me some of your thoughts and, and is it hard trying to work with a group where you've got guys and girls and how, how does that work? I think it's, it's great for them, it's great for them to be able to hit with all the guys, obviously the difference in um, the speed and maybe some of the intensity and what the guys can bring is it's just so good for the girls games. Um, they can be very competitive in a lot of the drills and, and a lot of the games we do. Um, and they're already, Ali and Abby have already been kind of three and four in New Zealand and, and represented New Zealand quite a lot of times, probably more than probably more than all the guys as well. So that's something else that they're able to bring to the table. Um, again, it's good how all of our people, whether you're the top person here or the bottom person here, everyone kind of mixes them together and I try to ensure that everyone gets on court with everyone, no matter the level. Um, obviously, we can we can always adjust certain things and condition certain things to make things a bit more even. But um, I think it's great that everyone's able just to mix in, mix in together so good. And I think it's fun having the girls here. Um, I didn't have this on the notes, but I wanted to talk about the squad jester, which is the chief, the swivel, the pinker. Now, <laughs> the legend. Now, um, the. Are you paying him to play up and behave as he does, or is that just his personality? That's just Chief, man. He's just a legend. Chief is just a legend. Chief is always... I think every person here gets excited um, when Sean comes into training. I know I definitely do. Um, he's... Yeah, he, he is something else. He's, he's such a character. I think on court he always gives 100%. Um, he's not afraid of a bet, and he always gets stuck in, no matter kind of what the drill or the exercise or in the gym, on court, off court, whatever it is. Um, he brings a lot of energy to all of our squads, and I think he's just, he's just great fun to have around. I know he's just just about to finish his last exam for uni, 
um, and it's talking about coming in there more and more, so I think it's going to be great having him there more. I think we always enjoy um, Chief when he's around, so great well, the, the Instagram stories are going to be non-stop. Yeah. The Chief's here full time, that's for sure. He is a bit of a legend on the ground. So, in summary, um, a lot happening in the month, uh, some good developments, some good learning, more to learn, more to do, um, higher levels to get to, uh, but a good, a good month. And looking forward into November, um, we've got the Swedes, uh, we've got our trip to Hong Kong, um, and really a heavy month of training before the satellites in December, and obviously the exhibition with Paul and Diego in December, so a big month to come. Yeah. I think there's a lot to look forward to, there's a lot to look forward to. Um, generally in New Zealand we wouldn't have events kind of from now on, which is all about February, March even. So having these uh, satellites in, de in December for all of our players and overseas guys coming over, uh, coming here as well, I think it's great. Um, the guys are able to kind of keep training for something, um, which is incredibly important. Having Paul and Diego here is going to be amazing, I think. It's, it's going to be so good just for everyone in squash in general in New Zealand, but particular all of our players um, teach a chance to get on court with them and I think just being around the, just being around these guys is huge um, I know in my experience being around the top guys in the world has, has always kind of excited me and um, encouraged me to do more and to train harder and to be better um, and I think it's going to do the exact same for these guys here um, so it's exciting times looking forward to a good month